Hello and welcome to another video from the events calendar. My name is James and in today's video we're going to be talking about adding tickets to your WordPress website. So for this video we're going to be using two plugins, uh, the events calendar and event tickets. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so like I said in the intro, we are going to be using two plugins for this video, um, the events calendar and event tickets. So those can both be installed right here through the plugins section of your WordPress dashboard. Uh, just search for events and you'll actually find both those plugins will be the first two um, that show up and you can install and activate those. And they look like this right here, events calendar and event tickets. Both of them are by the events calendar team. So once those have been installed and activated, uh, we can go ahead and start adding tickets to things. So um, it's important to know that uh, you, you need event tickets to add tickets to something. The events calendar plugin does not have the ability to add tickets built in. We separated that out uh, into the plugin event tickets because honestly, there's just so much you can do, so many features, so many possibilities that um, it definitely warranted having its own plugin. So I just wanna make sure that you're aware if you just install the events calendar, you will be able to create events and add venues and organizers and do all sorts of cool stuff, but you won't be able to add a ticket to that event without event tickets. Now, the other cool thing about this is that you don't even actually need the events calendar to add tickets to something. You can add tickets to a post or a page or a custom post type. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to make that distinction. Um, we're going to be looking at creating tickets, which you do need event tickets for, but you technically don't need the events calendar. We're just going to use it uh, in this demonstration. Uh, but anyways, now that I've got uh, that disclaimer out of the way, let's go ahead and um, dive right into it. So the first thing I want to do is take a look at tickets settings. And if you want to charge money for tickets, you will need to go to the payments tab and set up either Stripe or PayPal. We're not going to go into that in this video, but you'll see you have the option to uh, first you need to enable tickets commerce and then you can use either Stripe or PayPal, whichever one you prefer. Once you do that, then you'll actually be able to collect money for tickets. Um, so, but what I wanna do is actually just take a look at the general tab and just kind of point out a couple things here. So the first thing you'll notice is that page and event are checked here by default under post types that can have tickets. Like I said before, you can add tickets to pretty much anything. It doesn't just have to be an event. Uh, you can add it to a page or a post. And if I had created a custom post type, that would also show up here on this list as well. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then uh, you can have, a. there's a couple little options here. Like if you want to require users to log in before they can um, RSVP or purchase a ticket. Um, so not a, not a whole lot of settings here, but just wanted to make sure that you were aware that ticket settings existed. So you can take a look at these and uh, you know just make sure that uh, you're using the settings that, that you wanna be using for what you're trying to do. So. Um, once you have your settings set up and you got your payment set up, if you're trying to collect some money, uh, you can go ahead and add tickets to stuff. So let's go ahead and add one to an event, right? That makes the most sense. So let's go to events, add event. And I'm just going to call this some event. Super creative, I know. Um, description of the event. Let's say it's happening, you know, I don't know, next uh, Friday at uh, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. And uh, you can add a venue. Uh, you could add an organizer. Um, you could have multiple organizers. Sometimes, you know, two or three different organizations come together to, to host an event somewhere. Um, neither of these are required, but obviously it's a, you know, it's a really cool option if um, you want to be able to display that information easily to people who might come to your event. Um, if there's an external URL, like uh, and maybe you're on Eventbrite or meetup.com or something, you can paste that URL right here. Uh, but what we're going to be focusing on today is this little block right here, tickets. Uh, we can add a new ticket or a new RSVP. Now, they're very similar, and creating them is actually almost the same exact process. The difference is, you know, an RSVP is just a little less formal. It's just a way for them to be able to say, yes, I'm coming. No, I'm not coming. Tickets. Um, is a little more formal. That's where you're actually, you know, you can charge money for the tickets um, and then you can keep track of all your attendees and whatnot. Um, and if you're using our service promoter, you could even start sending them, you know, promotional emails, um, all sorts of stuff. But uh, so the process is pretty simple. We simply click on new ticket um, and this is just the name of the ticket. So you could, you know, you could call it, um, I don't know, general admission. 
how do you spell admission? I don't know. Um, start sale. I usually just leave this stuff blank. The default will be that it goes on sale now and it will stop going on sale when the event starts, right? But you can change that if you want. Maybe tickets aren't going on sale right away. You want to start telling people about the event, but maybe tickets aren't going on sale until next week or something. Uh, you can do that. But I'm just going to leave a blank price. Let's say it's $10 ticket. Um, capacity, you know, I'll leave this blank for unlimited or maybe we only have 100 seats. And so we have to limit it to 100 tickets. Um, we can click, click advanced here if you want to add a, an SKU uh, to the ticket. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to go ahead and click save. There's our ticket right there. I'm going to come up here and just publish this. And let's go look at this event. Okay, so as you can see, we have our event title, description. Uh, we chose the time and date, $10. Uh, details, this is where it would show stuff about the organizer and venue if I'd filled that out. Uh, but again, we are focusing on tickets in this video. So I'm going to come down here to this little section right here. You can see we created a ticket called general admission for $10. And we said that there are 100 tickets available and can't click get tickets yet because I haven't chosen how many I want. So let's say I want two tickets, click on tickets, and this will take me through the process of uh, purchasing those tickets. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, uh, obviously makes sense to use something like events calendar uh, to create events and add tickets. But I did want to show you that um, I wasn't just kidding when I said you could add a ticket to anything. So let's just go ahead and create a page, just a regular old WordPress page. I've enabled the block editor uh, so you can see, you know, what that looks like. The, the ticket we just added before was not using the block editor. Um, so let's go ahead and call this some regular old page. And uh, here we have to actually click the plus sign and just search for ticket and add a ticket block. Um, if you've used a block editor before, this kind of thing is pretty normal to use. So I will click add tickets. Um, I'm just going to call this page ticket. Let's say this one's only $6. Capacity 50. Again, I'm going to leave this the way it is and just click on create ticket. And we'll publish this page. And let's go take a look. Same exact thing, just a nice little box here where people can add tickets and make a purchase. Um, so I just wanted to, to show you that, you know, you don't have to use events calendar, uh, but obviously it does afford you a lot of event related features that you don't get um, just on a regular page or post. OK, so that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I did want to just take a quick second to make sure that you are aware that uh, just like the events calendar, has a pro version uh, called Events Calendar Pro that has lots of cool features. Uh, Event Tickets also has a pro version. It's called Event Tickets Plus, and it comes with a lot of different uh, cool features. Uh, my personal favorite is the fact that, uh, you know, you saw a minute ago, you had the option of using Stripe and PayPal with Event Tickets, and that was it. Uh, if you use Event Tickets Plus, you actually get the opportunity to use WooCommerce as your payment gateway. And as you probably know, WooCommerce has its own whole set of features that, that you can use, including a whole bunch of payment gateways. So you won't just be limited to Stripe or PayPal if you were to use uh, Event Tickets Plus and then use WooCommerce as your payment gateway. Uh, but that's not all. There's other features as well. I highly recommend hopping on over to the eventscalendar.com and just come on over here to products and click on tickets and RSVP. And you'll see right here, uh, here's a quick list of some of the features that are available in, in the Plus version. Um, you do get premium support, of course. Um, E-commerce ready, we talked about that. Uh, there's some custom registration options with Event Tickets Plus, so you can collect, you know, information about your uh, ticket purchasers. Um, you know, you can you can create forms for them to fill out when they purchase a ticket, so that's really handy. Uh, shared stock, so maybe you're creating two different tickets for one event. Um, you know, maybe you have uh, you know general admission, and then you have another ticket that comes with some benefits. Uh, but you still only have 100 seats in the building, so you need to be able to share capacity between those two tickets. You can do that with Plus. Uh, there's an, an Android app uh, with Plus, which is really cool. Um, there's QR code check-in available with Plus and some advanced widgets. So definitely just you know come check this out. And uh, I highly recommend considering um, you know checking out Plus if, if uh, you're planning on building a really robust ticketing uh, website. So um, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.